that right there with some stomp in action. We're Chris and Melissa, pursuing our best life in midlife by living in 12 cities in 12 months. At this time last year, we had a weekly hiking, food, and sweet eating tradition. In Vancouver, BC, we miss it. So we're going to try and recreate that kind of fun in the Phoenix desert. It isn't even 7.30 in the morning yet, and already the roads in, in Phoenix, oh my god, I almost forgot what city we were in. We're going to be in 12 cities in 12 months, so. We are out to go for a hike to a farmer's market and to find something sweet to eat. Hopefully we can get it all done. Farmer's market, I think, closes at 1, so Ooh. we need to get a move on. And, and we really want to get a move on because we're in the desert, so we don't want to be out hiking when it hits 90 degrees. It's, so we're going to get our hike in. It's early. We're going to be good. Yes, and it's it's the first week of November, and a high of 90 is expected today, so. It is. Oof. Oof, duh. <laughs> Okay, so we just learned that more than 200 hikers are rescued annually on this trail. So no, no, in the mountain parks and preserves, so around Phoenix. Okay, okay. So let's not be 201, okay? Oh, well, we would be 202. Well, not if you just left me. <laughs> hey, honey, I want to give a parking tip. If you come here on a Saturday morning in November, there was two parking spots left at like 7.30, so. All right, I think we're following everything we need to here. We've got our water, we're teamed up. Okay, let's go. And we're off. Honey, would you like me to lead the way? Not really. Okay, move ahead. <laughs> was a little different when we lived in Vancouver last year. But no matter where we hike, some things don't change. I always hike faster than Chris. Well, that's because I like to slow down and take in the scenery. We just walked by a guy. Melissa said good morning. He said good morning. I said good morning. He didn't say anything. I think she's cuter than I am. This already looks cool. We're not very far up, but check out this view. So what we learn about hiking in this area with rattlesnakes? Oh, it just not loud. Also, though, that they tend to come out more at night, so I think we're good. It's morning. Well, they might be coming out in the morning time, though, to get to the sun. You don't think so? I don't know. Chris is right. Rattlesnake encounters are most common in the morning and at night. That right there was some stomp in action. Just to be clear, we did not stomp for long. Uh, yeah, that'd be silly. We were just stomping purely for demonstration purposes. So far, we've climbed up 1,400 feet. I'm feeling pretty good. Once is moving a little faster than me. She's in better shape. Wait, there's its head, there's its little arm, there's its feet, and then it's... And what does that look like to you? Like a big sea turtle. Do you see it? No, I do not. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Let's look at I clouds. Love sea turtles. There no. isn't okay. a cloud in the sky. Insert Melissa here for scale. Okay, Melissa, insert. Oh my gosh. That's like five Melissas. Bang. Hey, Melissa. Yes. This is my parrot can. <laughs> so we were with a parrot this morning. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> but we've gone up almost 2,000 feet. No, because we've gone up about 1913, 
minus 1276. We've gone up about 600 to 700 feet. No, that was the first little marker. At the beginning, it was this zero This is zero feet. miles. No, that's zero miles. At zero miles, we're at 1276. <laughs> it went up 2,000 feet, I'm sure of it. I'm pretty sure I injured my back when we moved into the Phoenix apartment and Melissa tried to get me to go to a chiropractor, but I thought, nah, a hike will loosen it up. I was wrong. It's really slowed us down. Okay, hun, we're so close to the peak. I think we have to go for the peak. All right, let's do it. Oh, she's, she's a go-getter. I made it to the peak, but I'm not videoing the views or making any sudden movements. I made it though. We have decided to turn back. We've been at this for about an hour and 15 minutes. The loop trail was a little hard to find, but we do have an idea if we want to tackle this again. But I do want to point this out. Melissa climbed to this peak right here. Melissa, look, look, right there, see? You climbed to that peak. Wow. Melissa is amazing. <laughs> Hun, what do you think of the Mormon Trail here in Phoenix? It was the right level of challenge to do after a long time of not doing that sort of hike. I yeah. thought. What did you think? Yeah, I would. I would have to agree. It was the right level of challenge. I gotta get in better shape. Um, I did find it interesting. Uh, I noticed a lot more people listening to music on that trail. So maybe people that hike in the desert like to listen to tunes. So would you give that a thumb up a bump? Yes, I would. Yeah, that was a good trip. Boom. And if you like this content, subscribe. It really helps us keep on doing more of this. Yes, it helps us out, so please subscribe. Okay, so now we've come back to the apartment. We have to shower, and then we're gonna head out to the farmer's market. Hopefully find some good tasty treats and some lunch, but mostly the treats. Melissa showers first. I'm clean, are you clean? Yes. Ooh la la. We are almost to the farmer's market in Phoenix. I am looking forward to finding lots of great stuff. It's been about a 15 minute drive from our house. I even brought a list. You oh, ready wow. for a big day at the market, Chris? Yeah, you are going to shop. You are serious about this. I just want to eat. <laughs> parking here is easy peasy. There's a huge lot right next to the market and the parking is free. It is 11.25. The farmer's market closes at 1, so I want to get moving, okay, hon? Okay, move. Sometimes I can't cross much off my list at farmer's markets, but with over 100 vendors at the Uptown Farmer's Market, I'm hopeful. Okay, we've only been here five minutes, and Melissa has gotten three things already, right? Yes, three things off my list. Wow, you were efficient. <laughs> I have an update. I found marinara sauce. And it, the gentleman who is selling it, this is his grandmother. It's her recipe. So it's got to be a good marinara. I have a recipe that calls for a good marinara. So here we go. Good job. Thank you. So when you go to a farmer's market, if they have breakfast burritos, you can get a breakfast burrito. So I got the chorizo <laughs> one. It's super fresh. It's like the tortillas are even made here. I do believe so. Cool. It's very good. 12 seconds later. That was the most interesting breakfast burrito I've ever had. It had feta cheese in it and refried beans. I would get it again and I recommend it. Woohoo, I found my sweet. So this is a pumpkin croissant. It's good. Mm, mm, mm. I found mine too, but I like to wait until after lunch to eat my dessert. So I had it at home. I've been able to cross a lot off my list beneath this tent. I have empanadas that I am so excited about. They're chicken empanadas and a jalapeno sauce. I think they're gonna be fantastic. Aren't they a little bit too hot to eat right now? One is, the other two I could bite into. Okay. But I'm just waiting so that I can sit down. We better hurry, let's go. <laughs> 12 seconds later. It's time to eat my empanadas. I just wanna make sure everyone knows I got them at Antojito, Colombiano, hopefully I said that all correctly. And it was super cool. I got to talk with the owner and with another uh, woman who gave me some tips on how to eat these, where you take a bite out of the corner. 
Careful. And then they say the potato will dig and then you put the jalapeno sauce into the empanada like so. And let's see, I think it's gonna be even more delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I love a good empanada. This is an excellent empanada and that jalapeno sauce. Whoa. Are you gonna eat all three of those? Somebody likes empanadas. Honey, I think we have to come to this market again. This has been a great experience, don't you think so? It has been, and when we walked up there, it seemed like, whoa, there's way too much to see. But before we knew it, we'd been through it all and tons of interesting places. You got a ton of food. Oh my gosh, yeah. And I also, oh, I wish I knew their names. I'll have to look it up. But we ended up with some pistachio baklava because of some fantastic salesmanship. It's delicious too, I try to sample but they were quite charming. <laughs> I wasn't that charmed, but they were <laughs> these young, handsome dudes that just pulled Melissa in. She's like, oh, I better get some. <laughs> oh, I better be nice. These boys are trying so hard. <laughs> 10 bucks later, I do have to give them credit. They did a good job. Yes. That was kind of our first day of doing something in Phoenix. What'd you think? I had so much fun. It was a beautiful day. Everyone was so nice on the trail. They were super nice saying hi, good morning. Here, people were super nice, friendly, outgoing. Yeah, Phoenix seems like a, a nice place. Seems like a lot of nice people. Mm-hmm. On to the next adventure. Hey, if you want to keep up on these adventures, just subscribe, right? Yes, like, share, let your friends know. Because, you know, maybe they might want these tips too. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs>